This is the class run chart throughout the year and our percentages every time we've taken the test. The percent correct for the class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I see here you got some stickers. Talk about that. Um, well, the stickers are basically every time we get a new highest score and all time best. And we went from the 60s to now up to 96.3. Okay, your first week of the year, you had what percent? 40, 41.6. 41%, percent, and now you're at? 96.3. 96, wow. Pretty yeah. nice. Does that feel good? Yeah. 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 Um, so what happens when you have an all-time best? Um, we have a celebration. We didn't bring the chart, but we technically celebrate our all-time best for getting a new higher score and remembering more of what we learned. Okay. And how do you celebrate? Um, depends. Each time is different. Like once we had all in one, we've had a music day, we've had a food day. We've had mostly food days. Oh. Yeah, I think foods. Food. We had one music day and one all in one, and all the rest were food days. Okay. So you roll the die to decide. Yeah. 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 And yeah. It just turned out on food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But well, the kids didn't complain. No. 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 So you've got a red line across there. Who's going to tell me about that red line? Uh, okay. So the red lines. Last year's all-time best, the highest score last, her last year honors um, ge geometry <laughs> scored. So every year, like, the, we try to beat it, and we beat it this year. Have you beat it twice or once? Um, uh, twice. Th two or three times. Twice. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's twice. I think it's twice. I'm, I'm not, like I'm not sure. three percent or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what the percentage is. The sticker's covering it up, but... Yeah. I think we'd be at twice. Yeah. Okay, so twice no, you twice. beat the last 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 class. Last yeah. class, yeah. yeah. So then the students coming in next year, are they going to have to try to beat you? Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's their ultimate goal, I guess. And I think she started doing it last year, so as of right now, we have the highest score that she's ever seen. So that means everybody in your class, if you got if you got 90 some percent right as a class, everybody in your class could get an A in the final. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Which would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, this is just every time we've taken uh, the test throughout the year. We've taken it 13 times so far. And when we finish and we have them all graded, everybody goes up to the scatter diagram and marks a tally in the box of the score that they got. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can see in the first few tests, it's really heavy in, like, the threes and fours, but like 10 through 13, there are tons of sevens. Okay, because you take seven questions each time. Yeah. Yep. yeah. What's, the, what's that pink sticker there for? That shows us which column to mark the tally in each time we take the test. So even high school kids get their, do their dash in the wrong column? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first page is directions, and that's what we went over the first day that we did this to make sure that everybody understood what to do. And then we have a list of key concepts. So that's what you're going to learn in the class? Yes. Okay. And that's front and back. And it tells us which quarter we're going to learn it in. Okay. And um, then we have a student run chart where you keep track of what you've done so you can see how you improve. And mm -hmm. I've improved quite a bit. And then we have our own class run chart, which is pretty much this. Just so you duplicate it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have a histogram for each quiz that we take. And it started out pretty low, but as you flip through it, you can see that it gradually gets better. And we all keep track of like how many each number gets mm -hmm. right, and so we can see how that works. So what is that? What do you call that? What do you got over there? Your last one? Last one? We definitely have a J. Okay. I guess... It just shows how much we've learned throughout the year, mm -hmm. but it doesn't only show how much we learned, but how much we actually remember okay. learning. So we'll remember it like for our finals and for the rest of our lives. You know? mm -hmm. I think it gives us a certain sense of pride because we've gone from failing grades for weeks and then we finally got to the passing grades and we were like, oh, okay, this is cool. And then we went from a 56 to a 92. Like, and that's pretty cool, I think. Mm -hmm. It's cool to look back on everything and see how much you've improved. Mm -hmm. So when your final comes up, are you gonna have to study the night before the final? 
I don't feel like I really have to doing L to J because yeah. it basically covers everything we've done throughout the semester uh, through for the uh, for the entire semester. So studying the night before the final, I just don't think I need to. What would you say to teachers that aren't doing L to J? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great way to uh, just promote the curriculum throughout the year and not have your students just cramming for the next test mm -hmm. that's coming. And you can always do different variations. Like you said, it's kind of still developing. You can always progress it. And if you have an idea to either make it more fun or motivate the kids more, there's no problem with doing that. I mean, being able to see, like sometimes it doesn't really feel like you've learned anything new throughout the year. Like last year when I was in math, I got to the third quarter and I was like, I still feel like I'm learning all the same things I did in seventh grade. But being able to see how much you really have learned just helps, helps you really be, uh, uh, appreciate the class more.